Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Eden Slovin. Today is July 1st, Sunday, and I'm here with a very special guest, a good friend of ours, Dr. Paul Anderson. Um, he's here with some really great information. I'm going to tell you a little bit about him, and then I'm going to let him kind of guide this conversation, but this is a conversation. So we want to encourage you to please use the chat box. Um, we have people on this call from all over the world, from the United States, Canada, from Belgium, the Netherlands, the UK. Um, it might even reach further than that. So we want to just keep this conversation going. Please engage with us. So Dr. Paul Anderson has become a personal friend of ours. We have dinner probably about once a week. Um, and we've learned so much for him, from him. Dr. Paul has 30 years as a doctor in both the US and Canada, which is very rare to accomplish. Um, he's been researching brain science and brain health for over 20 years. He also is the formulator, uh, the co-formulator of the Isodelight chocolates and the joint support and pain relief cream for isogenics. He has served on the scientific advisory board. And he's just one of those guys where you see him at celebration or at any event and he's just mobbed with people who just want to get a little bit of his expertise and we have him all to ourselves for the next 30 or 35 minutes or so. So we've invited Dr. Paul on today's call to talk a little bit more about the science behind cravings. Why are isodelites more mo most effective to help? Okay, Zach says that my connection is choppy. If anybody else is... Is anybody else having trouble with my connection? Can you just post in the chat? It might just be Zach's access to Wi-Fi downstairs. Can anybody post in the chat box, please, if I'm not coming through correctly? It's not as clear as usual. Fine here a little bit. Okay, let me bring this a little bit closer. Zach, maybe you can grab me my mic. It's um, not as clear, okay. Um, Zach, why don't you come off Wi-Fi, or why don't you come off camera? Why don't you kind of fill in the next little bit, and, and Dr. Paul and I will move up to my office where I can plug into the internet. Zach, can you come off mute, or I will take you off mute? Okay, Zach. Where do you go? Zach, you're unmuted. Can you turn right. the camera on? I'm on. Okay. You take over for just a minute, and I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay. So... One of the big reasons that we wanted um, Dr. Paul to, to join us tonight, like Eden said, is we've learned so much from, from him in the last couple of years. Um, and really, as we've had a chance to spend a lot of time with him, the things that we learn from him are remarkable. So to have access to him, for him to be able to take his time out um, to do this on a Sunday is a huge benefit from all of us because he just has a wealth of knowledge and information. And he is a, he's a, he's a, he's a, yes, he's a doctor. He's, he's board certified in both Canada and in the United States. But what's really unique about him is he's also a researcher. So he's constantly researching what's the newest science? How is our health being effective, w affected? What are the best ways to use the isogenic system to both combat what we're exposed to on a daily basis, as well as put ourselves in a whole position to be optimally healthy, right? And to have optimum health. And so again, we're really fortunate to have him here today. So like Eden said, we want this to be a conversation. This is about educating you so that you can one, be educated from your own perspective, but then two, also understand the importance of certain things that are happening for your customers. So they really have a phenomenal experience and they stay on isogenics for life. Because at the end of the day, when you're not on isogenics, it's a downgrade in your lifestyle. So um, baby, you all hooked up over there? I'm good, thank you. Is this better? Cool. Uh, I think it's much better, yeah. Okay, all right, thanks for your patience, guys. All right, cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Do you wanna say anything before I do that? Uh, for all the Canadians? For all the Canadians. Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day! There you go. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right, welcome everyone to the call. And we're gonna talk about the new brain science on cravings and three things you can do to up to double your customer's success. Uh, one of them being Ice Delight uh, Super Chocolates. And we're gonna talk about the difference between regular candy chocolate and Ice Delight Super Chocolate. And I know we have some Europeans, but we will also talk to you about why Ice Delight is more similar to European chocolate than it is to 
North American chocolate, understanding. So the first thing we should talk about is why do people quit isogenics? And let's just talk about the first thing, which is the most important is most people quit because they have a very bad cleanse day. And the reason they have a bad cleanse day is because they get cravings. Uh, and they're not set up for success. I have a funny story to tell you about that. I was at, in Atlanta with some very uh, wonderful leaders and uh, a psychologist came there who'd been on isogenics and signed up new people. And she was complaining about her new cleanser that cheated. And at the, at the end of her cleanse had a turkey burger, just like this. And I said, oh, okay. Did she have ice of the light? Well, no. Oh, were you cleansing at the same time? Yes. Did you have ice of the light? Yes. So let me understand this. The other person quit because she didn't have the chocolates that she needed to be successful. And now you're taunting her? Nice psychologist. So the issue, the point is, if you're using isoglyte in your isogenics lifestyle, you need to be using it for your new customers. And we've had this, and it's interesting, when I go to large events and you see me and I pull people, and of the audience, 90% use isoglyte in their program. When I ask them how many new people get it, it's usually a half to a third. So you're setting people up for failure. I'm gonna talk more about that. So what are the three things that you can do right now and just post in the chat box if you use and love isodelites. So the first thing is for the cleanse day is use isodelites. Um, this is going to have a profound effect on your customers. Remember the three things we want to, well, several things we want to do with your customers. The first is you want to get through that first 30 days because that's the main reason they quit. The second thing is we want them to be on isogenics as a lifestyle. So we want to have as long as retention and it hopefully doesn't end, but it's, that's going to be up to them. And you also want to have double the spend for the business builders and you want to have double the business builders come out of that. And it turns out if you do these three things, which I'm going to share with you, not in detail yet, the first thing is make sure everyone has ice delights in their first order. The second thing is make sure you sign them up for ice of body. Now, if you don't want to do ice of body, weekly measurements and there's a huge psychological reason for this it's accountability and the best way to do it is through isobody i just completed today i think my fourth or fifth isobody in a row both zach and me and i don't know about you guys but i love doing it not only for the accountability but i love getting free products how many of you guys know that in the u.s we get 200 dollars? i think in the uk it's 150 uh 150 pounds worth of free products every 16 weeks completing completing the Isobody Challenge, that's an incredible retention tool, giving people food for free. So that, that's why Isobody is so powerful. And the final thing is support. And we're gonna talk about different things about support. This is the app, there's, there's texting, there's phoning, uh, email, whatever it is. But we're gonna talk about support as a huge part of this. And part of this call is what we wanna do here is be able to give you things that you can do tomorrow morning that will have a massive impact on your customer's success. And we're gonna give you some very practical tips and we're gonna talk about the science. So let's talk about the science first. So talk about cravings. So one of the problems is that people think that cravings are just something magically coming in it, uh, you know, from them and it's actually their brain. It's the reptilian brain. I think I put a reptilian brain in here. The little part of your brain right there, that's what actually is driving your cravings. Whether it's uh, drinking uh, excessive amounts of alcohol, other substances and sugar, which is a huge one, is the reptilian brain will drive your behavior to go seek, especially uh, sugar and junk food and trans fats and so on. And that's why they fail on the cleanse. They fail on the cleanse because those cravings from that reptilian brain subvert your behavior. It suddenly you're eating, you go, oh, oh I was cleansing. Yeah, because you were like a zombie. You're no longer in control. We, this is how we're wired. This is nothing, you're not different than anyone else. But well, there's things we can do to set them up for success. So what you're saying is that we're not bad or wrong or something's wrong with us or about us if we have cravings for some of these like salty, fatty, trans fat, fast food type things. It's just that, and we've talked about this in the past, how foods are designed to hook us onto them so that we go back and continue buying them. So if you do have cravings, it's not that there's something wrong with you. And we're about to share a couple of ways in which you can actually adjust and fix that. 
but it's not that there's something bad. It's just that reptilian brain. Right. And so part of it is we got to get those feel good chemicals in your brain or your neurotransmitters this, for the science nerds. This is dopamine. This is uh, serotonin, endorphins and, and, and cannabinoids. We got to get them back up to normal. And when they're up to normal, the cravings go away. So a healthy, happy brain swimming with happy chemicals doesn't have the cravings. So we're going to talk about how to do that. And most people that start isogenics aren't in exactly the best health and their brain is usually pretty unhappy, which is why they have the cravings. So where are we next here? Oh, I don't know. I'll let you do that. All right. So what's the difference? You, you talked about this earlier. What's the difference between ice of delight and regular chocolate? Why can't I just go eat Snickers bars and Hershey's chocolate and do whatever I want? So let's, let's frame this out. First of all, ice of delight is wrapped in chocolate. It's a brain formula that took us 10 years to develop. So it's 10 years in the development. It's vitamins, it's minerals, it's amino acids designed to tickle your brain and make it happy. It's designed to support those feel good chemicals and not artificially stimulate them. And once you do that, then what happens is it curbs their cravings on cleanse days, and shake days, and for desserts, whatever else. But we're, we're focusing on the cleansing part right now. During the cleansing, as you're taking away the food, that reptilian brain is, is, is driving uh, you harder and harder to, to cheat. And that's where isolite comes in. So we wrapped it in a, in a superbly healthy chocolate, but it's not, the only thing is the carrier is the chocolate, the active ingredients are the vitamins, minerals, amino acids. So the isodelight itself then what you're saying is actually a supplement, a brain supplement, a brain nutrient that helps to get the brain functioning optimally, put it in a happy place. And we just happened to be fortunate enough that you decided to put this supplement in chocolate so we can enjoy chocolate on our cleanse days and every day. I must confess it wasn't me. It was that we, we were doing a, a, a study group. We were actually studying the product for something other purpose. And the women were all complaining because we had buckets of supplements. If I actually took isolate, I showed you all the supplements that are in it. We had buckets. The women, we had a revolt. And the women said, you know what? We want this in chocolate. Well, we didn't realize, we thought it was a great idea, but we didn't realize it would take two and a half years just to get the flavoring right. Wow. Because the nutrients, so, but yeah, it was the women's idea. I'll give the women the credit. And yes, so that's how. And we should talk a little bit about practically on a cleanse day, how many you should take. So let's give a little practical knowledge is you need to take as many isolated lights as you require to get through the day. So whether that's one, two, four, or six, the idea is to don't let someone fail. They need to take more chocolates, but they're not allowed to have things like fruit and eggs and nuts and all that stuff. All that goes away. You can have your ISIS snacks. What do they call them? ISIS snacks. ISIS snacks. snacks. You can have your ice of delights. Some people, if they want to use those whey thins, just realize they do contain salt and some people that will flip them out of a cleanse. So especially first time cleanses, I would not use the whey thins. For me, and I, I know that some people do well using the whey thins. I personally cannot do it. For me, it's like breaking the seal on snacking. And if I start having whey thins, I just want to have more and more stuff because there is that saltiness. I do much better just sticking with my ice of delights and my ice of snacks. Yeah, and I would say, and there's a reason for that is that there's some things that aren't in that and the salt creates a problem for some people. So hey, let's not uh, set up some people for failure from the beginning. We know that all, over 90% succeed with ice of delight and the snacks, let's stay on those products, at least for the first month. And after that, they can decide what they want to do because they got to have the first month has to be a good month. So that's the point there. So that's the practical side. Now, we also had some other differences. Jim Coover, who I love, he's one of the owners of Isogenics, and uh, Jim said to us after two years, well, what else you got for me? You know, it took 10 years to get there, and Jim says in two years, what else are you going to do? So <laughs> we added half a cup of green tea, tea uh, extract, as in, a, uh, again, support the body, the antioxidants, support fat burning. Uh, and the next one we Does did, it have the caffeine portion? It has a tiny bit of caffeine, but our whole caffeine count including the green tea were under 10 milligrams and an idea is a, a cup of coffee ranges from 120 to 350 so it's fractional okay that's good because i sometimes have isodolites right before bed when i'm craving like an extra dessert <laughs> and i want to stay on plan i just have one or two isodolites and 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 you can the other thing is we keep the antioxidants so we're going to talk a bit about how we make it but 
Um, it's up to about half a cup of uh, blueberries and one ice of delight. Wow. Dark in antioxidants and that's an amazing statistic. Um, Seabird's asking why don't we have uh, fruit on a cleanse day? Because uh, it has sugar and it's fairly unbound and sugar will put you into digestion. So uh, eating fruit and eating other things, you don't want to go into digestion. Ice Delight was designed just to give your brain enough and that's why we limit Ice Delight to whatever number you need. If you only need one, great. If you need two, great. If you need four to six initially, but over time, we prefer you use less than more, but other things we would be concerned about. Uh, so we try to avoid the sugar as much as we can. So let's talk a little bit because we have Europeans and this is very interesting. So a couple stories here. First of all, we make our chocolate Belgian style and that actually means something. So the Americans actually use a two step process and they overheat their chocolate and they lose a lot of the antioxidants. They use the enzymes and the flavonoids and all the healthy part of it. We don't. We actually make it the same as they do in Belgium and Switzerland. We use a three-step process. We actually melt it at 110 and we drop it to 83 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 25, 28 Celsius. It's unheard of. We actually broke the factory. We, we, they, they had a pipe that was 300 feet long. Well, the problem is the chocolate's cool, cooling, cooling down it went. So they actually had to retool the factory because we're the only one, and they make they make chocolate for everyone. We're the only one that goes that cold. And we do it to keep the nutrients in our, our brain formula, but we also use it to, to, to make sure that we keep everything in the chocolate. So that's why the chocolate tastes different. And we use the most expensive chocolate that we can, the highest antioxidant level um, that's made in the US. So we get the cocoa beans from uh, ethically traded farms. So we spend a lot of time making this chocolate for people that it's super healthy and then with our brain formula. And this is just, this tells you the whole thing, your brain loves ice delight. Even when we were just talking about this, it's like, well, you know, I like other chocolate, but I just crave ice, ice delight. Yeah, there's a reason is those brain nutrients tickle your brain and make it happy. So it's really the brain formula plus chocolate in combination um, is working really well. I also know that most other chocolate is not good for me, has refined sugars and all kinds of stuff and doesn't have the nutrients. So if I'm gonna eat chocolate, I want the chocolate that my body's craving, and I've never craved chocolate like I crave Ice Delight, yes. ever. All right, so it, obviously cravings aren't just on their shake days. Other people fail because, I mean, on their uh, cleanse days, but they fail on their shake days. So one of the, here's some tips on the shake days. Some people struggle, so with cravings, Ice Delight mid-morning, Ice Delight late afternoon, those are the two peaked uh, valleys, so that's when your brain's sort of going down. You wanna just feed it an Ice Delight or two really helps but a big power tip is if you're going somewhere that you don't want to eat food or you're worried that you're going to overeat take one or two isolates 15 minutes before you eat mm. because what we're trying to do is make the brain happy so it's craving less of the food so that's that we found people were able to control their portions a lot better if they use it then that's uh, a great tip you guys love that one that's like having dessert before dinner yes that's like having <laughs> dessert before dinner and then, you know, isogenics people were really quite mad. We never realized when we designed this, because we designed this for a regular population, that isogenics people are completely crazy. <laughs> and they started eating it for dessert. Now, originally, the nutrients were designed to really be on an empty stomach. So the, 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 if you want all the, the nutrients we designed, should be 15, 20 minutes before you eat, two and a half hours after you eat. But what happens is um, Jim and, and Eric started eating it after dinner. As a dessert, I mean, it's like, well, but you're missing some of the nutrients. We don't care. It tastes great, and we don't eat dessert. So now the isogenics people are using this as a dessert substitute or a snack substitute, which Eden was talking mm -hmm. about before bed. Now, is it good to just kind of chew it and swallow it, or is there some, should we keep it in our mouth a little bit to absorb the nutrients better? If, and this is the thing is the original one was the size of a, a small hockey puck. It was not. You know, you can do this. This one you can. If you break it in half and actually let it melt, especially under your tongue and in your mouth, the effect is, is double or triple. Ooh, so that's so, a great So tip. if you want to just let it sit there and melt, it works really, really well. See, I do that by instinct because I just like it. I like to have the flavor in my mouth for a long time. So I, I break it in half or in thirds inside of the packet, and then I just put the pieces under my tongue and I let them melt. And then I get like a 20 minute isodolite. Yes. But there's actually a benefit to it. There's a huge benefit. Okay. All the nutrients avoid the gut and digestion. So it does well, even if you chew it and, and take it quickly. 
And they're, they're really crazy. They're doing other things, like they're putting it in their coffee to make one of those crazy mochi, yaka, whatever. I they that. take salted caramel and yeah. they'll drop it in their coffee. Yeah. And others are dropping it into their shake. Uh, we have them dropping the mint one in their shake and the salted caramel and the dark vanilla. So you are a very inventive group, and I applaud you because it's a, it really is a healthy choice for your brain. One of my favorite uses for the Isa Delight is I make a thick, um, a thick shake like ice cream. So a ton of ice, very little water. I eat it on a spoon, but then I take one or two Isa Delights and I shave it on top with a grater. And then I have this like mound of isodelite shavings. All right, Sigrid has a question. So if one isodelite equates to about um, five grams of sugar, then, and 50 strawberries has the same amount of sugar, why still the isodelite and not the fruit on cleanse days? Because it's the volume of the strawberries and you've got fiber and you have other things that will kick you into digestion. So the point of, of the chocolate, and the, one of the reasons we chose this media is that it doesn't trigger digestion. So it's not just the sugar, but it's also the size and the volume. Volume is, is a problem. So that's why the snacks are small. That's why Ice of the Light is portion controlled and you take small amounts throughout the day. Again, we're trying to still limit it. Um, I've been a purist and I like um, my people when they're doing their cleanse is to make sure that they don't get into other things. I find it's not as effective and they don't get the same results, so. And what about the eighth of an apple, which is something that the company uh, is? I, I understand that, but um, John Anderson and I have had long conversations, but if you don't know John Anderson with Orders and formulated this, and we are in complete alignment, is that, yeah, you can do those other things. We also say, um, don't do them. Use the snacks, use the ice of the light. I don't like this non-purist, and I think you support people, and you let them take more ice of light, let them take more snacks, and get through the day. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's talk about, we talked about isodelite. Isodelite by itself, if you add that to every order, um, just to give you an idea of the difference in retention rates, um, the retention rates we've seen with people that have used this at regularly are over 60%. And that's unheard of for a lifestyle program like is, uh, uh, isogenics. So we know that if you do this and you do some other things we're going to teach you right now, that you can, you can up to double or better customer success with this. So the first one is make sure everyone gets isolated. The second one is ice of body. Cannot emphasize this enough. One of the problems that happens, if you don't get them on ice of body and you're not getting measurements and you're not getting, uh, and that's, that includes uh, their body weight, but also percentage body fat and also includes inches. Because one of the things is isogenics does something that supports uh, positive anabolic. Uh, metabolism, which means people put on muscle, right? But think about it. If you're losing fat and I'm gaining muscle and I could lose inches, I could weigh the same. And we've had women especially get really upset. This program is not working. Well, I've lost three dress sizes, but I weigh the same. Yes, but you replaced a whole bunch of fat with muscle and you've burned a bunch off. So um, one of the things, and this is a Bill Constein from New York would do, is we would have local meetings. We'd bring in and we put a scale down, but we measure percentage of body fat, mm. and that's really so. That's a key measurement. So if my weight's not, if my weight's the same, but I've gone from thirty percent to twenty percent, and I weigh the same, all that meant is I'm putting on muscle mass. Mm. And all the studies from Skidmore that we've had done from the other Dr. Paul Number Two, Dr. Paul Ocherio, has also demonstrated clearly, even on maintenance, on isogenics, you will still keep gaining muscle and burning fat, but your body weight may not change a whole lot or it may even go up a bit. So be aware, and that's why you gotta have them measure, but this is also the psychological part. If you don't have them doing this, they can often disengage, but if they know Sunday, I'm gonna send my photos to Eden or I'm gonna send my measurements or whatever, this is a huge part of this because um, they, if they don't realize they're getting results, they'll just quit. Mm -hmm. The accountability is massive. Yep. And it also, it engages you with your, your person that you signed up. You've got a human to human connection saying, look, I'm really here for you. I, I know you've been struggling. I'm going to try and do everything I can to support you to get to the next level of health and wellness and happiness. So, And I always say what you measure, you can improve. And so the best way to help our customers 
um, just be on a schedule of constantly weighing and measuring, not too often, but just according to the ISA body challenge, it's an easy way that they can plug it into that platform and stay accountable. And that way, if they come to you and say, hey, I feel like things aren't moving great, send me your last 30 days of measurements for the ISA body challenge and let's kind of see what we might be able to tweak. Um, so Neil, your question about why aren't isodolites included inside of the pack? So inside of the premium and the ultimate pack, the, and then for those of you guys who are watching from the US, that's our, our premium and value pack. So the ice of the lights do come standard on those packs. And then what Zach and I have done after just looking at all the retention numbers, our personal experience and working with thousands of people at this point is we realize that it is just non-negotiable for people to get started with ice of the lights. So what we've done is we've embedded inside of our templates that when we're offering people a basic pack or an ultimate pack or a basic pack and a value pack if you're in the US, Within the basic pack, we're already presenting it to them with the price that includes the ISA delights. So it doesn't even change the amount per day because I think it's about 27 pounds or euros or something like that. So it's very nominal. And we present it to the customer as if the ISA delights are already included standard in the pack because we know that it is so important for them to get started with this product and that we'd be setting them up for the most success that way. So it is as if they're already, they already come in the pack. Yes, and that's really important psychologically because you can't explain to someone about a product they need going forward doing a process they've never done before. But I will tell you a funny story. You do have to give instructions, especially to the men. So we had a wonderful woman, and, and she took five years to get her husband on. She gets her husband on. And she's so excited, and, but she's away. So she sent him the pack and everything, and he gets this box of ice to the light, and he's going to have a cleanse day, and she comes home the next day, so I was cleansing. That was the easiest cleanse I've ever done. That was fantastic. I see why you love this, honey. She says, where's the ice delight? Well, I ate it. What do you mean you ate it? Well, I had a box and I had a day of cleanse. Oh. <laughs> so with the men, you have to tell the men, especially. Men are very literal. Yes, yeah, so you have to explain it. Take it throughout the day. All right, <laughs> we're going to give you some other power tips here. I'm going to give you one of the power tips. Uh, let's talk about support. But before we get to support, leave it there. It's fine. I'm going to give one other power tip here. There's up to 10% of boxes returned to the company unopened. And I know that you're horrified and it's like, oh, that's terrible. It's actually pretty common. Um, it's actually a good rate. If you look at QVC, these other, there's often up to a 40% return rates. So 10% is pretty good. One of the ways to do it is as long as you set them up properly and you talk about their why and they're going to get the box, one of the things you do is you tell them, don't open the box. When you get the box eaten, I'll do this with you right now. I know you're excited to get started, and then you read back. I know you want to lose the extra 10 pounds. Uh, I know you want to get in great shape, right? I know you have some health challenges. We're going to work with all those. But whatever you do, don't open the box. You call me. Now, what's the first thing Eden's going to do when she gets the box? We're going to open the box. She's going to open the box. I'm going to read everything inside. And then call. So that's what you want to do. It doesn't work for the military because the military are interesting because they take instructions. So what they'll do is they'll treat it like it's something horrible and look at it and go, I got the box, I'm not opening it, but I'm staring at it right now. And they actually will do that. So understand the military will follow the rules. The rest of us will, will cheat and we'll open it. Because we actually do want people to go through the box, read the instructions. Yeah, so exactly. it's reverse psychology here. Yeah, and it works very well. So let's talk about, um, okay. yeah, that or actually what we were talking about is 2100 um, uh, was approximately about half a cup of blueberries on the antioxidant side. So there you go. I mentioned that earlier. But let's talk about support. This is another huge one that you can do right away. Um, I'll tell you a story about this. Uh, Jill Berth, who was an ice body challenge winner, was doing really well in her business. And I saw her two years later and she said, my business isn't doing well. Last year, I have not had a good year. I said, well, okay, what are you doing differently? Well, I'm not really doing anything differently. I'm signing people up. I mean, that'd be doing something different. Well, one of the things is I stopped... Um, you know, talking to people too much and, and giving them too much support. And I just kind of let them follow up with me. I said, what were you doing when you were successful? Oh, I talked to them every day and once a week I'd follow up. So I said, Jill, you just did the one thing that will actually reduce your success rate by about two thirds. It's about 66%. So if you want back, you got to put the support in. And what's interesting is that's Jill's experience. That's our experience on lifestyle programs. We made the same mistake. And I talked to the number one recruiter at USANA. I mean, he is just a monster. We spent three hours over breakfast talking about all these things and support and this and that. Support was his number one thing. So I'm going to give you his tips. The first thing he says is, when someone signs up, understand you're plucking them out of their social network and you're putting them in, in network marketing. 
and some of its hostile people aren't going to support them. So one of the things you want to do is have people reach out to your team. Now, the, today's society is a text uh, society, basically some email. I advise also you can text them, but I'd also give them a call. Uh, and you get some team members. Now, the minimum number is three. He was doing up to eight of the team members. Jay Bennett was crying when I told him eight. So I said, well, you can do three. But the point is within 24 hours, the, you know, the chance of them quitting is quite high. You want to make sure that someone is reaching out, right? Because they're having buyer's remorse and they're having social rejection and remorse. So make sure that someone reaches out in the first 24 hours. So that, I love that. And this is invaluable. Are you guys loving this? Just post in, the, post in the chat box. I'm taking away so much from this call. Um, we have built into our kind of onboarding processes a welcome call. And it's designed to grab a couple of people inside of the team. Some of you guys are doing this. Some of you aren't. So Dr. Paul just said that you can improve your retention by 66% roughly by helping your customers feel more supported. And one of the ways to do that is to do a welcome call. So as soon as you get somebody started, text three to eight people inside of the team and say, hey, I need you for a quick five minute call. And then just follow that quick welcome call template. If they don't, if the customer doesn't pick up the phone, you can leave a voicemail for them. You can even make an introduction through a uh, Facebook messenger and have some voice memos go back and forth. But it's so important that people people feel the support from the team and people love that. I think you raised a very important point though. If, if, if it's someone who doesn't go to the phone, whatever, leaving them a voice, voice message channel. through text because human voice to human voice is a whole different level of love and support. Understand this, you've plucked them out into a network marketing and there's this sort of misperception, especially in North America, other countries, not quite so much. They understand is that they're feeling quite isolated and you've got to give them right into that support system as soon as possible. Okay, that's an easy thing that you can do and it's already built into the system. Um, the next thing is to realize there's some statistics on how often on average people need to be followed and they are what they are. So um, you need to talk to them regularly till the box arrives. Once they open the box and they start, then it's daily for the first week. And support is not optional. If they refuse support, then you, you actually can't work with them because it means that they think they can do it. They know more than you and they don't. You gotta let them go. They have to have support. So the first week, you, all you gotta do is reach out. You don't have to be know everything. Things we talked about in this call, you don't have to know any of this. All you have to know is if they have a question, how do I take you somewhere that we can look and you can find it? And you give them the love and support. So daily contact. Is this sounding familiar, guys? I'm sure that they teach you this, <laughs> this but that's great. daily daily contact for one week. Now, most people, after the one week, you can slip, slip them into a once a week. Again, that once a week, you're reviewing their measurements and how they're doing on the ice and body, how are things going. And remember, you, you if you've done it right, they're already set up to go on auto ship. You need to be reviewing that before it gets there because, especially in a large pack, what did you like? What didn't you like? What did you need more of? Especially in an active lifestyle, because I tell you, a 30 day couldn't touch me. A 30 day would last me 10 days. So, you know, I, I'm going to use a massive amount of products. Someone like me, you've got to sit me down and say, okay, what did you like? What, I, need, I need three of those. I need 10 of those. And I need, I need a lot more of that. Especially if you're traveling, you're busy trying to avoid uh, nasty uh, food out there. So, you go weekly. Now, the results, I'll give you an example. The results from us, when we do this in our program, this is our program, we went from 53% uh, success rate staying on our lifestyle program to 93%, just doing this part. Uh, USANA was the same way. I forget whether you know, he was in the high 80s. So we know statistically looking at data, not just from Isogenics, but from other network marketing and from our programs, this is one of the easiest things that you can do you got to show people you love and support them. And then when they have a question, be responsive. So that's on the support side. Now there's the life, there's ISA life app. Um, there's no more calls, right? From Ina. No, but we do have, we have the um, easy lifestyle product coaching group. We have the, uh, we have isogenicshealth.net for North America. And then we have the ISA FYI EU tab for, um, for nutrition information there. We've got isogenics podcast. We've got these calls. 
there's tons of support that we can plug people into. But I love, I have not heard that presented that way, which is check in every week because everybody's going to use the products at a different rate. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I've had people where their spouse starts dipping into their stash of shakes and then by week two, they've run out. But so if we keep checking in with people and find out how are you doing on Isotolite? Well, my box is all, all almost gone. Let's grab you another box. How are you doing on Isopro? Do you want to add harvest bins in this time? Why don't we, it's a great opportunity to introduce people to new products even mid month because they love the product so much well two things there one is it's usually the men stealing from the women yes i don't want to i don't next thing you know like zach steals i eden's ice oh i don't take where'd they go honey so that's the first thing or the kids or whoever right that there's things going out the door and then the second thing is there's sort of this mentality especially in north america is like oh, i'm just selling more stuff no you're not you're giving them the right products to help them succeed. It's not about selling them more stuff. It's about giving them enough products to succeed. Because if I'm mid-month and I'm out, I'm in trouble, right? Mm -hmm. I'm usually three shakes a day. So I got to make sure. And if, if someone's comes and borrows it, I'm in big trouble. So, all right. So the final message is friends don't let friends cleanse without ice of delight. That's from Lynn Hagedorn. And the message here is if you use this product, then your customer should be using the product along with the other things we talked about, which was support, ice of body or measurements. This is going to transform your business, but ultimately you're transforming more lives. Because think about it. You have a huge responsibility. Someone's come along and you, isogenics is not like a rapid, program like it's something you're going to do for a few weeks people usually have serious problems they come on they, they fail on other things so this is often their last chance or the, the final thing they're going to give an opportunity to and they're excited about it you don't want to set them you want to set them up for success not set them up for failure so by not giving them ice and light not giving them the support not setting them an ice of body you just lower their odds from 90 percent to less than 30. Mm -hmm. why would anyone do that why one, and they're easy to do. Isolate's easy. The support is just something you got to do. Isobody or measurements, easy. You do those three things, we set up to double. You'll see, once you do this, you're going to find probably it's a lot more successful. I, I agree, and we've seen that inside of our own business. So, guys, the, the, the pricing on this product was just adjusted with the foreign currency. So, I think it's like a 25% um, decrease from where it was, which is, gosh, an amazing, I mean, I would, I would pay double for this product personally because it's so valuable to me in staying on track with my personal goals. So make sure all of your customers know about this, even customers who maybe said no before, or didn't get it started in their, with their pack because maybe you didn't have all the right information. Circle back with those customers, tell them what you learned and offer them the opportunity to either place a separate order or plug it into their next auto ship. And then one last question before we go, which is, are you working on any new flavors? Yes, and I can share that. So at Celebration, we will be testing. You ready? Uh, you, you tried the uh, dark tangerine. Oh! We're trying, they're doing the, the milk tangerine. I get, a, I get giddy. Uh, I, 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 don't, just I don't know about why anyone tangerine. wants milk tangerine, but they like that too. I loved it, but I like the dark we tangerine. We have regular mocha and double strength mocha. I tried those too, guys. Milk they're and so dark. good. Milk and dark. <laughs> Yeah, the coconut will be we sampling and trying in uh, NYKO. We have almond and we have hazelnut. <gasps> and the first one that will be released is peanut butter cup milk, although there's been a request for dark as well. So all of those are underway. And I can tell you that because that's not secret, but we, you, there is a group, and I don't know how to get access to it. I just know that the marketing people are running it at, at, at Celebration NYKO. If you talk to them, you can, you can hopefully be selected and we'll have all these flavors between Celebration and NYK will be all there and then we'll be releasing them. It's not just the North American, it's also the Europeans and, and the Australians, New Zealand's and so on because we're trying to find out what works for your market. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I have to agree with Eden. Of all the ones I've tried, the dark tangerine was probably the favorite. Of all the flavors I've tried over the years, that was absolutely stunning and I'm allergic to nuts. So. For me, that worked out perfectly. I tried to make that taste last in my mouth. I, <laughs> yeah, we were, no more. Dr. Paul brought them when we were going to dinner. And so he let me try it right before our food came. And I didn't even want to put food in my mouth to erase the taste. That's how good it is. All right. 
Dr. Paul, thank you so much for your time. For those of you who have questions that we didn't have a chance to answer, just um, when we ask, what did you learn? Zach's going to post that in the group right, uh, right as we end this call. Just post your questions there, and I will personally ask Dr. Paul and then get those questions answered for you. And then in, for those of you guys who are coming in Nashville with the ISA rally, make sure that you find Dr. Paul, introduce yourself, let him know you're part of the Team Easy family. And um, he's like family to us. We call him Uncle Paul. So thank you so much for your time. This was super oh. valuable. Love you guys.